Hello, and welcome to another episode of OTR Performance's Tableside Chats. I am your host, Jamison Kern, and in this episode, we will be discussing what to do if you have a parked regen light flashing. This light is only available when the truck is requesting a parked regen. Every truck manufacturer designs this feature to appear when the soot level in the DPF filter reaches a certain level in order for the truck to keep operating. What does this soot look like? When your truck is requesting a parked regen, it means that the passive regen your truck already went through was not enough to burn the soot in your DPF filter. Do you actually need to do a parked regen when the truck is asking for it? The short answer is yes. If you keep driving your truck without doing a parked regen, your truck will enter a derated mode. When this occurs, your engine power and or your speed will be limited. What happens if you can't perform the parked regen when I try? Well, this can happen when the active regeneration failed for some reason. An active regen is when the truck does this process automatically. This happens when the soot reaches a certain threshold and starts the active process to burn the soot off. You may notice your engine running harder when this is in active mode. There are so many causes for a failed active regen because it relies on conditions that need to be met in order for it to happen. If you fail a parked regen, you need to be aware that this will only lead to more issues and or more derates. How long does a parked regeneration take? It takes approximately 20 to 60 plus minutes. It will continue to regen until the soot level has reached low or 0%. Some trucks will let you monitor your soot level gauge on the dashboard. What's the difference between parked regen and a service forced regen? Parked regen. Truck asks for regen and you start the regen by hitting a button on the dash. Service forced regen. A diagnostic scan tool at the dealer level will initiate a forced regen. A service forced regen is done in order for the system to verify that the after treatment system is in good and working order. If this completes the forced regen without any fault codes and issues, then the truck is ready to go. Here's an example, 2013 Volvo D13 has an SPN 4094 FMI1. The dashboard lights up, def quality being evaluated, five mile an hour temporary removed, continue driving. The only way to clear this fault code is to make sure your DPF SCR system is operating without any other faults. This fault will stay active until a service force regeneration is activated and the ECM and ACM runs through all the checks to make sure the knock sensor values are within the required limits before it makes this fault code inactive. So you can start a service force regeneration even if you have def quality fault codes. The truck needs to run through all its checks to make sure the system is within the limits set by the manufacturer in order to clear the faults. This method is used on Volvos, Max, Detroit Diesels, and other manufacturers as well. A service force regeneration will ensure that the DPF SCR system is clean from any soot buildup. If you make sure to do this more than just once, it may help your DPF system last longer. We recommend running a service regeneration once a month. You may see better miles per gallon because your filters are cleaned out and moving air more efficiently through your exhaust. OTR provides you with a soot tool that will allow you to start a force regeneration at the highest dealer level yourself. The DTC plus AFT reset tool, force regen enabled, will allow you to do this within 30 seconds to four minutes. Thanks for watching another thrilling episode of OTR Performance's Tableside Chats. I am your host, Jameson Kern. Please leave your comments below or check us out on Facebook. Until next time, folks, just remember, if you ain't first, then you're last.